Well, there are a group of bike riders in America who are really into trick riding, and they won't have any other bike except this one bike that's made, guess where? Right here in Baltimore. Art demands technology keep pace. This machine is actually drilling the spoke holes. This is the latest, highest tech item from Japan. This two-in-one adapter actually takes the flex out of the front end of a bicycle for the kids that are starting to do the higher jumps and things. The art is radical riding, freestyling, bicycling taken to its limit. The feeling of being on the ramp is like nothing else you, you've ever done. I mean, you start riding up, once you see the top of the ramp, and you, right when your front wheel comes out, you start going, well, you know, the only, the only thing that's going to make me come back in is myself. And it, it's, just, it's kind of a weird feeling. It's just like you're falling when you get high. It's weird, getting like a natural high. The technology is provided by finely tooled and tuned machines, chrome-plated precision instruments, the ultimate in the sleek design of a timeless product. The machines make the art possible. It's lightweight, strong. I've been riding the same frame for about six, seven months now, and there's no marks on it. Strong as strong as ever, and it, it's designed the way I always wanted the bike to, to ride. Woody Itson is one of the artists. He travels with the van's trick team to show off products as he shows off his own skill. Today, he and his counterparts are performing at the temple of the high-tech master, the Hutch Bicycle Company of Baltimore. Hutch is the guru. It's a great feeling being number one in the world of all the bicycle manufacturers. For the last four years, Richard Hutchins has been manufacturing and selling the most sought-after bike in America. The riders tell him what they need, and his company comes up with the technical wizardry to make it happen. Dreams of 360s come true with free-spinning brakes and forks. Max airtime via lightweight metal alloy frames. A new design in pedals for a no-slip grip. We just came up with more and more new products, and the shop expanded continuously. And The, the sport is one of the fastest-growing sports in the world right now. Every kid rides a bike. Every kid likes that competitive edge. You don't have to be a professional rider to catch that edge and keep it sharp. Neighborhood parks are breeding grounds where potential champs practice their moves and expand the sport. As more and more of the kids see it happen with their neighbors or on television, uh, that's exactly what they do, build themselves a homemade ramp and then as they get better at it, then they go into building, uh, then Dad actually starts helping build a professional ramp thing. Protective equipment is recommended, and it doesn't hurt if the clothes look good, too. While the Hutch bikes range in price from $240 to $800, the kids are buying more than a machine. It's a style, and one that doesn't upset many parents. The image these kids that my race team set up for the average kids out there make them really want to go and have our red, white, and blue clothing on to be an image of, of what our race team is, an American image. Sometimes we dress funny, we wear different color shoes, different color elbow guards, and wear our shirts inside out or something just to attract attention, and then we start riding, and people, they, they start laughing. At first they say, you know, did your mom dress you this morning? We said, yeah, and they also taught us how to do this. The kids are the teachers in this sport, and it's making them feel like big wheels. It's great, it, it just makes you stand out amongst the crowd. Uh, you just go out there and you just, you blow their minds. 